Example 1.2. Part A. Calculate the amount deposited one year ago to have $1,000 now at an interest rate of 5% per year. And Part B. Calculate the amount of interest earned during this time period. Okay, so we're going to identify what we have and break it down into these two parts. So the first thing that we see here is that we have $1,000. And even if you read next to it, it says now, even though it's now, if you read what it's, uh, what's stated before, calculate the amount deposited one year, one year ago, we actually see that everything started one year ago and that now is actually the future. So therefore, these uh, $1,000 now are going to be the end amount. So we're gonna put it right here as end amount equal to $1,000. And then it gives you an interest rate of 5% per year. And so we have the interest rate equals to 5% per year. Okay, so I already mentioned that we're going to be calculating the amount deposited one year ago in part A. So for part A, we are looking for the original amount. Original amount, and this will be our unknown. Okay, so we have the end amount and the interest rate. If we go back to our formulas, okay, we need to select the one that fits from these three. We already mentioned that we have, we're looking for the original amount, we have the end amount, and we have the interest rate. So therefore, we're going to be using the last formula of the three. Okay, so if we go back here, I'm just going to write down end amount is equal to the original amount okay, plus the original amount times the interest rate, but I'm going to abbreviate it like that. Okay, now if you go back to your college algebra class, you're going to see that here in this formula, you can factor out the original amount. So a shortcut for the formula will be original amount times, okay, the original amount that has been factored out would become a 1, right, plus 1 times the interest rate, which is the interest rate. So it will be the short version of the formula. Okay, so now we're going to plug in the values that we have in here. So we have the end amount, 1,000, it's equal to the original times 1 plus the interest rate, which is 5%. Every time that you're going to put uh, input, uh, percentage into a formula, you're going to put it as a decimal. So in this case, 5% would be 0.05. Okay. So now we need to solve for the original amount. So original amount will be equal to the 1000. And you're going to divide, because you're going to move this to the other side, by 1.05. Okay. So this will give us a total of 952.38 dollars. So this is the answer for part A. Now, part B is asking us to calculate the amount of interest 
earn during this time period. So we're going to write down part B. We are looking for the interest. Since it's the amount, we're going to look for the interest in terms of money. Okay, so we already went over these formulas, and if we are looking for the interest in terms of money, we need the original and the end amounts. So, do we have them? Okay, we found the, what well, we have the end amount given, and we found the original. So, yes, we can solve for this. So, the interest. will be equal to the end amount minus the original amount okay, which is going to be 1000 minus the original that we just found 952.38 giving us a total of 47.62 dollars okay. and this will be our second unknown